Josh Hatcher here from Manlyhood.com. Listen, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what she can't give you. Growing up, I was always a guy that just wanted to be in love. I just wanted a girlfriend. I wanted a wife. I wanted to have that fulfillment. I remember being a teenager and laying in bed and feeling so lonely at night. Like uh, any space that was left in my bed, which was a twin bed, so it wasn't big, and I was a big guy, but I could just... I just wanted someone to wrap my arms around at night. And I can guarantee you that I think most people feel that. I think most people feel that desire to be loved and to love. So, um, you know, I uh, got married young, met a nice lady in college, fell in love with her, gave her my heart. And I'm going to say about a few months into our wedding, I'm laying there at night and I'm holding her. She's in my arms. And I'm realizing that I still have that feeling in the pit of my stomach. That loneliness was still there. I literally had the most beautiful woman in the world in my arms, the woman I loved more than anything, in my arms, and I was holding her. And I felt inside the same thing that I thought she was going to fill. It was a wake-up call, and it was hard. It took a while for it to really sink in and for me to really understand what it was and how it works. Now, I believe that that is because we're meant to have a relationship with more than uh, just a woman, and a woman can't give you everything. She can't fulfill all of your deepest needs. She can't. And I think that's why a lot of marriages honestly fall apart, is because we're wanting them to do more than what they were designed and what they were meant to do. Um, I think each of us has that deep longing in us for purpose and for fulfillment. I believe that in my life I've found that uh, with my relationship with God. That has honestly been where I have found that uh, deepest longing has been resolved and where I have found the answers to that. And I'm not here to preach at you, so be patient. <laughs> if it's like, oh, whatever, I don't care about that. That's okay, just listen. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. You can argue with me later. But I do believe that that's what that feeling inside is meant to be, is I think it's it's our hearts calling out for the one that made us. But guys, she makes a great wife or a great girlfriend, but she's going to make a terrible God. She is not going to fulfill your deepest and inmost longings and desires. She can't. And as long as we expect her to, she can't give that to you. There's a few other things that she can't be for you. One, she can't give you your masculinity. A woman can... To make you feel masculine. A woman can point out where you are masculine. A woman can acknowledge your masculinity, and that makes you feel good. But masculinity does not come from a woman. And uh, we grow as men based on our relationships with other men. So some men have a good relationship with their father, and their father taught them what it means to be a man. Some men don't have fathers, and they had to learn that lesson from someone else. And some men have never learned that lesson. They don't know what it means to be a man. They don't know that they are masculine, and they don't know where that masculinity comes from. So I just want to encourage you, if you want to be more masculine, if you want to be more manly, you get that not by chasing women who can affirm your masculinity, but they can't give it to you. So stop looking to them for that. You've got to get around some men. You've got to have some friends. You've got to have some brothers. You've got to have some mentors, uh, some father figure type people in your life who can affirm you. And if you don't have them, go get them. I know, easier said than done. Maybe we'll talk about how to make friends and how to find mentors another day. But that's where it starts. You've got to have that in your life. If you don't, then as a man, you're going to run into walls. Guys, the other thing that she can't give you is your direction. Uh, that's your job. She can tell you what she wants. She can tell you where she would like you to go. You can decide where to go together. But she cannot be the one to lead you. Now, I have a wife who's a very strong leader, and she leads a lot of people, and she has tremendous leadership skills. Honestly, I think that if we were to compare our leadership skills, she probably has more skills at leadership than I do. Not even going to lie. I believe she does. But... I can't expect her to lead me. I need to lead myself, and I need to lead her. 
she needs to lead herself and she needs to go with me. And I'm not saying that because I believe in some outdated patriarchal notion that somehow I'm a man and I deserve to be. No, I, I don't believe that. I, I don't believe that I'm a man who has just inherited uh, kingship or lordship over my wife. No, listen, I'm the patriarch and she's the matriarch and we both lead and we lead together. That's how we do this and we make that work. Um, she does submit to my leadership even when I'm leading badly. If I'm leading right, then I'm taking into account her thoughts, her ideas, and her wisdom. And honestly, when we do that and we're going the same direction together, it's better. But she can't be the one steering the ship. We do it together. Or I do it, and she follows. Most of the time, we do it together, and it works best that way. But you can't get your direction from her. The other thing she can't give you is perfection. Stop expecting it. You know, um, she may be a great wife. She may be a horrible wife. And yes, she should strive to be better, just like you should strive to be better. But stop expecting her to be perfect. Embrace her for who she is, for where she is, for the flaws that she has. Encourage her to be better. Lead for her. Set an example for her. You be better and she'll follow. I promise. Or she'll get out of the way. But if you make your life better, that's what she wants. She wants you to make your life better and she wants to follow you. That's what she wants. I believe it firmly. But as long as you expect her to be perfect, she's going to let you down every time. Don't expect perfection, but together work on improving. And I think that when you do that, you're going to find a much more fulfilling relationship with her. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts for the day.